Electron is one of the world's most innovative rockets. Since its first launch in 2017, it's pushed the boundaries with 3D printed engines, electric turbo pumps, and new carbon composite technology to become one of the most reliable and frequently launched rockets every year. And what's faster than building more rockets? Reusing the ones you already have. Which is why we're evolving Electron into the world's first reusable small orbital rocket. So we can launch, splash down, and launch again. Here's how we'll do it. First, Electron lifts off from the pad, with nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage propelling the rocket towards space. Around two and a half minutes after liftoff, at around 70 kilometers above Earth, the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage shut down, allowing the rocket's first and second stages to separate. Tiny reaction control thrusters reorient the stage to the correct angle of attack to slice through Earth's dense atmosphere as it descends. The 12-meter-long stage falls to Earth at top speeds of more than 8,000 kilometers per hour and a temperature peak of close to 2,400 degrees Celsius. About five minutes after stage separation, as the stage returns to Earth, a drogue parachute is released at around 13 kilometers altitude to help slow the rocket down. Less than a minute later, the larger main parachute is deployed from the first stage, bringing electron speed down from thousands of kilometers an hour to less than 40 kilometers an hour. Meanwhile, our recovery vessel waits patiently outside the splashdown zone in the ocean, several hundred kilometers from the launch site, and awaits confirmation of splashdown by telemetry. Once the captain receives confirmation, the chase is on. The recovery team speeds to the booster's location at sea, typically rendezvousing with it just minutes after splashdown. Using a specially designed marine retrieval apparatus, Electron's first stage is plucked from the ocean and secured on the vessel for the return trip home to our production complex to undergo testing and refurbishment for reflight. 